Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I'll show you guys how to install Homebrew browser apps on your PS Vita, even when the Homebrew browser isn't installed or you just have so many problems with it. So if you guys are interested, all you want to do is go and open up Vita Shell, press select and then connect your PS Vita to your PC via USB connection or FTP connection and I will show you guys what to do next. Alright guys, so once you're on your PC, I will leave a link to this website in the description and as you guys can see, it's exactly the same as the Homebrew browser, which is actually really cool. The only downside is, is it's on your PC, so it's not as direct to install the VPKs, but it's pretty much exactly the same thing. So once you're on here, what you want to do is just look for a Homebrew game or emulator that you wish to download. I'm just going to scroll down and have a look. Um, I'm probably just going to get Doom because it's quite a small file. So once you find the game you want, just click on it. Scroll down to the bottom and you will find the download VPK option. So all you want to do is just click that and then it will download the VPK to your PC's downloads folder. So just go into your downloads folder and you will find the VPK that you just downloaded in there. And all you want to do guys is just drag and drop this onto the root of your PS Vita. So it's going to copy across there quickly depending on what kind of VPK file you've got. But once it's on there you can disconnect your PS Vita from your PC and I will show you guys what to do next. Right guys, so once you're back on your PS Vita you can just close out this message and then you just want to access your memory card. So mine is a UX01. Then you just want to scroll all the way down to the bottom and you will find the VPK that you just copied across. So there is my Vita Doom. Uh, VPK. I'm just going to press X to install it. It's going to say, do you want to install this package? Just press X. So if you have any problems with installing, it's probably because you don't have unsafe homebrew enabled in your settings. So once it's finished copying across, just press circle a few times until you're on the route. You can now completely close out of Vita Shell and you will find a new homebrew game on your home screen. So all you want to do is just tap it and then tap it to start and here you go guys doom is now running so I'm not actually sure how to set this up it says press select oh so this is telling me that I need to add a wad so I'm just gonna add a doom rad real quick and I'll be right back okay so I just copied a doom one wad into the data folder um, if you guys actually want to know how to do that it was fairly easily I literally just got a doom wad and put it inside of the data folder, inside of the doom folder and inside of the wads folder. So now I'm just going to press circle. Um, I'm sure most of you watching this video won't be interested in doom anyway. I just did it because I've actually already got a video on that for the PS Vita. As you can see guys the game loads up fine. I believe I can play it as well just by start new game. And here I am playing the game. So yeah that is how you basically use the homebrew browser um, even though um, it doesn't actually work so it just has so many errors at the moment apparently it's not just my PS Vita as well I was reading about it on reddit and so many people saying they're getting errors downloading games errors even starting the program so yeah this is how you access the homebrew browser if you have errors and you still want to get some of those cool homebrew apps so if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one